All right. Fifth is not the only Gentiles. But we're proving that in this video. Okay. We'll talk about the New Testament and who Paul and the apostles were talking to. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. Genesis 10 and verse 2. The sons of Japheth, Gomar, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus, and the sons of Gomar, Ashkenaz, Rifta, and Togama, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. These were the owls of the Gentiles divided in their lands, everyone after his tongue, after their families, and their nations. Okay? The word Gentile, when you pull it up in the concordance, it is the word goy, okay? And it means nation or people. All right, that's all it means. Okay, Israelites are Gentiles. So we're going to skip down to Matthew 4 and 15. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtalim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, okay? We're going to prove that uh, in this video. Okay, Canaanites are Gentiles. Our fathers, it was Acts 7 and 44. Our fathers had the tabernacle of the witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles. Okay, into the possession of the Gentiles. The Israelites took over the Canaanite land. So the Canaanites were called Gentiles in this scripture right here. Okay. Assyrians are Gentiles. Okay, let's go ahead and go to right here. Hosea 8 and 8. Israel swallowed up. Now they shall be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. For they are gone up to Assyria. Okay. So Assyria, the Assyrians were called Gentiles. This is more proof. Uh, Zebulun had tribes within them. The Sardites, the Elanites, and the Jelilites. Jelilites. Okay. So Zebulun, no, Zebulun, Asher, Naphtali, all of them lived in Galilee. So if Zebulun had tribes within it, that means th the other tribes had tribes within them. Right? We'll talk about this uh, later on in this PowerPoint. And once again, Canaanites are called Gentiles. Uh, King of Canaan, Arab shift of the Gentiles. Egypt was called Gentiles. Word of the Lord which came to Jeremiah, the prophet, against the Gentiles, against Egypt. Egypt was called Gentiles, and they are Hamites. Okay? All it means is nation or people, like I said. More Gentiles, not from Jephthah. Force of the Gentiles shall come unto thee, Midian and Ephah, Sheba, Hidar, Nebaoth, okay? More Gentiles. And these people, I think Midian, Midian, uh, Midian was from Shem, okay? Shemites were called Gentiles. Okay? Now here, just say, um, the nations, but as you know, as you know, the word uh, nations means Gentile. Okay, you can go ahead and look through all these people that got underlined. You can uh, check which line, C line they come from on your own time. We can go ahead and move on. All right. So Israel and Judah split. Okay. Israel went, the house of Israel went to uh, backsliding. Okay. He says right here in Jeremiah 3 and 8, he says, uh, backsliding Israel committed adultery. I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Okay. So the house of Israel lost their name. Okay. So if they lost their name, what were they, what were they going to be called? They're going to be called uh, heathen or Gentiles. Okay. Judah did not lose her name. House of Judah uh, kept their name, right? Okay, Matthew 1 and 21. 
and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay? Jesus was going to save his people. Not everybody. His people. I'm going to prove that. Matthew 18, 11. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Okay? Now, I got the house of Israel in black and the house of Judah in uh, yellow. Okay? It's going to be like this, the whole PowerPoint. So, he, gonna, he came to save that which was lost. The house of Israel was lost. All right? And that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for the inside of the people. For it shall the Gentile seat, and his rest shall be glorious. Okay? Jeremiah 50 and 4. In those days, and in the time, in that time, said the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their God. Shall the Gentiles seek? Okay? The Gentiles going to seek. Which Gentiles? If we know, if we know everybody could be Gentiles, you got to figure out which Gentile this is. Okay. This is the Israelites. Okay. They went to go, they're going to go seek the Lord, their God. Okay. He shall save his people from their sins. All right. Say that which was lost. Um, John 7, 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, where will he go? That we shall not find him. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Okay. The dispersed among the Gentiles, among the regular Gentiles, the regular regular nations, and teach the Gentiles. So he te he teaching somebody that was lost. Okay, the house of Israel. So he that's who Jesus went to after the Jews rejected him. He went to the house of Israel. How should you to reject the Christ? All right. Watch this. Matthew 15, 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the, the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously, grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And disciples came and brought and besought him, saying, Send her away. But she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He is not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? So he sent away this Canaanite woman. He told her, I'm not sent to you. I'm sent to the house of Israel. Christ said this. Okay? Romans 2 and 10. But glory, honor, and peace Every man that work of good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Romans 1 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Okay. Um, Greeks that, that Paul or Peter and all them was talking to were. House of Israel. They were Israelites from the house of Israel. All right. This is proof right here. Let's read this first. Isaiah 41 and 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Isaiah 42 and 6. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. Open the blind the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Okay. Let's we'll see. Uh, we're gonna read this too. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not, and I will lead them in paths that they have not known. And I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. They shall return back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to the most images, ye are gods. Hear ye deaf and look ye blind that you may see. Who's blind but my servant? Or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who's blind as he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant? Okay, who's his servant? Israel is his servant. So 
this blind right here, these Gentiles, they're blind. That's blind. They are the house of Israel. Luke 4, 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set liberty them that are bruised. Okay. Now, if you if we go back and, and it says, uh, he sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, it's who he went to, the house of Israel. They were blind. They are his servants. And watch this right here. Uh, Romans 9 and 24. Even us whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Verse 25. As he said also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, that shall they be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as a sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as a sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. It shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Like I said, the house of Israel got divorced in Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah. So Paul quoted Hosea to the Gentiles. Quoted the book of Hosea to the Gentiles he was talking to. They had to be the house of Israel. Okay. Hosea 1 and 6. And she conceived again and bare a daughter. And God said unto him, Call her, her name Lo Ruhama. For I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. And will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by boat, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Okay? 1 Peter 2 and 10. Which in time past were not a people, are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have, have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Okay? So, say, we no more have, uh, have mercy on the house of Israel. You see, they, they, he said, they are not my people. House of Israel became, uh, became not his people. Okay? They were his people at one time, but they, then they became not his people. Okay, 1 Peter 1 and 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Okay? How can a people be a stranger in their own land? You can't. So these are the dispersed of the house of Israel. All right? That's who Peter was talking to. Now watch this. 1 Peter 2 and 5. He also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay? Now, God only said this to one people, and that was the Israelites. All right? So how, how, how can, how is Peter... Telling them they are a chosen generation when they are not Israelites. If they weren't Israelites, why would he say this? It had to be Israelites for him to say this. Exodus 19 and 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of who? Israel. Okay. Peter said this <laughs> unto the children of Israel. <laughs> it's crazy. It's right here. It's, it's, plain, it's plain as day. Psalms 118 and 22. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. Matthew 21 and 42. Jesus said unto them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the, of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eye. Therefore say I, I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. So, the house of Judah, 
they rejected Christ, but the house, but so, so they rejected Christ. And then, uh, Jesus went to the house of Israel. John 7, 35. And said the Jews among themselves, whether will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Okay. So Jesus went to the house of Israel since the house of Judah rejected him. Acts 4 and 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised up from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold. This is the stone which was set for none of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, but there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Okay? So the house of Judah uh, rejected, they were the builders, and they rejected Christ. Ezekiel 37 and 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. And join the one to another into one stick, and it shall become one in thy hand. Say unto them, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and will make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand, and the six whereon thou writest shall be the thine hand before their eyes. There being thine hand before their eyes. Okay. So let's read this real quick. He was eighty eight. But finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day is come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. And he said a new covenant with uh with heathen, with with actual people of other nations besides Israel, okay? He said the house of Israel and the house of Judah. All right? John 10, 16. And other sheep have I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold, one and one shepherd. Okay? Ezekiel 37, 22. I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be a king to them all, and shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. So Jesus in John 10 and 16 says he has other sheep, not of the fold of the house of Judah. Okay, and the black is the house of Israel. He says, I have other sheep, okay, that are not of this fold. He's talking to he was talking to Jews when he said that. Watch this right here. Ephesians 2, 11. Wherefore, remember that you being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are un, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at the time ye were without Christ being aliens from the coming wealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off and made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace who have made both one. He have made both one and have broken down the middle wall or partition between us. This is between the house of Israel and the house of Judah. He have made both one. We just talked about this in Ezekiel. It was uh, two sticks became one. This is what this is about. It's about the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Daniel 9 and 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us, confusion of faces as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel that are near and that are far off to all the countries where thou hast driven them because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. Okay. James 1 and 1. James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. Okay. James was talking to all 12 tribes. He talked to the house of Israel. In the house of Judah. The house of Israel was called the Gentiles. The house of Judah was, uh, was called the Jews. Okay. Now we're going to talk about this, uh, this olive tree. All right. So you put away the house of Israel. Okay. 
Judah did not get put away. House of Israel only got put away. All right. It was two kingdoms, two nations. They split into two. There was one nation at first, but they split into two. Jeremiah 11 and 16. The Lord called thy name, called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he have kindled fire upon it, and the breaches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee, for evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves, provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal. So, the house of Judah was a green olive tree. All right. And watch this in Hosea 14 and 4. I will hear their black siding. I will love them freely, for my anger is turned away from him. I will be as a dew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spread and his beauty and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall receive as the corn and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, what have I to do with uh, more with idols? I've heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thy fruit found. Okay. Who is wise and he shall understand these things. Prudent and he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord are right and the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors shall fall therein. Okay. We'll talk about this olive tree again. More proof about this olive tree. We're going to get, we're going to get into uh, the grafting in in a second. Isaiah 5 and 1. Now will I sing to my beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My beloved, my well beloved have a vineyard and a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and got out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it. I also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should be, uh, they should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of uh, Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. Which could I have, what could I have done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. And now go to, I will tell you that I will do to my vineyard, I will take away the hedges thereof. And it shall be eaten up and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And I will lay it waste, and it shall be pruned nor dead, but there shall uh, come up briars and thorns. And I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. He look for the judgment, and behold, oppression, for righteousness, but behold, a cry. Okay? Jeremiah 2 and 4. Heed the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. For of old time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest plain the heart. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, only a ripe seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of strange vine unto me? Around 16 and 12. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit. The noise of a great tumult, he have kindled fire upon it, and the branches thereof are broken. Now watch this. Branches of it are broken. Okay. The house of Israel, okay, is the wild olive. It's a wild olive tree. The house of Judah is a pleasant plant for the right or the good olive tree. Okay. House of Israel grafted in the olive tree. Let's read Romans 11 16. For it is the first fruit be holy. For the first fruit be holy. The lump is also holy. And the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, okay, talking about the house of Israel. Being a wild olive tree, or grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. Okay, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off, that I that I might be grafted in, but because of unbelief they were broken off. 
And our standards by faith be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spread not the natural branches, take heed lest ye also lest he also spread not thee. Um behold, there the goodness, therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which fail. Severity, but toward thee goodness if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou shalt be cut off. And they also, they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. Okay? Okay? So he, he, he's able to graft the house of Judah back in, and he's able to graft the house of Israel back in. But thou will cut off of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and will graft it contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Oh, not brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, okay? The whole Israelite nation, the house of Jacob. Until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, okay? Until the fullness of the house of Israel come in. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. It shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness uh, from Jacob. But this is my covenant unto them, which when, when I shall take away their sins. Okay, remember the covenant. He said that he's going to make a new covenant with who? The house of Israel and the house of Judah. Okay, that's what this olive tree is about. It's about the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Isaiah 11 and 12. And shall set up an ensign for the nation shall, and shall assemble the tree I mean, assemble the uh, outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Verse 13, the envy of also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not uh, envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Zechariah 10 and 6. Now strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph. And I will bring them again into the place for I have mercy upon them and shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am the Lord their God and I will hear them. Hosea 1 11. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and shall come up uh, come up out of, out of the land. For great shall be the day of Jezreel. All right? For I am the Lord. I change not. Malachi 3 and 6. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Mark 3 and 1. Hear this word uh, that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Okay, Psalm 147 and 19. You serve his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Hey, um, let's see. Deuteronomy 32 and 21. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Okay. Romans 10 and 19. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are not a people. There are no people. And by a foolish nation, I will anger you. Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. Another shall subscribe uh, with his hand unto the Lord, surname himself by the name of Israel. Okay? Watch this right here. Romans 1 and 21. Because that when they knew God, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like a, to a corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. Isaiah 7 and 8. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is resin. resin. And within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it be not a people. Okay. And the head of Samaria, I mean, the head of Ephraim is Samaria. And the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Hosea 1 and 9. Then said God 
said God, call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall it be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Jeremiah 4 and 44 and 22. My people is foolish. Okay. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Okay. So Ephraim became not a people. Okay. So Ephraim, the house of Israel, became not a people. So we go back to Romans 10 and 19 says, uh, but I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, by a foolish nation, I will anger you. So he was talking to the house of Judah and he was saying that a foolish nation or a pe not a people, not a people, uh, we're going, we're going to be used to provoke the house of Judah to anger. And we know that as the house of Israel. Um, Abraham, right? Says all nations shall be blessed. Well, now we're gonna find out what this means when you say all nations shall be blessed. Uh, Galatians three and seven. Know you therefore that which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. The scripture foreseeing that God will justify the heathen through faith. Okay, and we're gonna figure out who's gonna figure out who he's talking about. Okay, because people say this is the uh the Gentiles, the white people. Okay. But it's not talking about them. It's talking about the house of Israel. Preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, Indeed shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. This is 18 and 17. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that, that thing which I do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation? All nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Okay? All nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. All right? Isaac, okay, said the same thing to Isaac. Let's skip down to verse four. I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give unto thy seed in all the, these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. So he said the same thing to Isaac. Watch this. He said it. I think he said it. He said it to uh, Jacob. Let's see. Verse 35 and 10. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called uh, called any more Jacob, but Israel. That be thy name. And he called his name Israel. God said unto him, I am the God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. Nation and company nations shall be uh, of thee. Kings shall come out of thy loins. All right. He didn't say it to Jacob, but watch this right here. It says, A nation, that company of nations shall be of thee. Okay. Uh, First Chronicles 2 and 1. You had the 12 nations, the 12 tribes. Okay. The 12 tribes are 12 nations. Okay. Reubenites, Simeonites, Judites, etc. Jacob, a multitude of people. Genesis 48 and 3. And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me. He said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful and multiply thee. And I will make thee make of thee a multitude of people. And I will give his land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. The angel which redeemed me from all the evil, bless the lads. And let my name be named on them in the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. When Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him and he held his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. Okay. A okay, John eleven fifty. Don't consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake he not of himself, but being a high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation. Okay. That nation being Judah okay, the house of Judah and not on, not for that nation only, but uh, that also he should gather together and one, the children of God that were scattered abroad. And 35 and 10. Okay. Once again, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. Okay. So number 26 again, you got the Hakonites of Reuben. You got the Polyites of Reuben. Okay. Those are nations within the nation of Reuben. You got the Hezrites of Reuben. The Hez uh, Hezronites. Okay. You got the Carmites of Reuben. 
all four of these nations are within Ruby. Okay. Same you got the Nami the Namulites, the Geminites, and the Jachonites, and the Zarhites, and the Shaliites. Okay. All of them came from Simeon. All right. And you got the Shelanites, the Pharisites, and Zarhites, the Hasmonites, and the Hamulites of Judah. Okay. Remember, it said a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. So if we go back, go back, let's go back. It says, uh, saying that Abraham shall surely be become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Okay? All the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. All right? So it says a nation and a company of nations. So nations of the earth. We'll find out. We, we, I believe it's uh the house of Jacob. Okay. All the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Ain't talking about everybody. It's talking about Pacific people. This is 12 and 1. Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. I will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will uh, bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse of thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Okay? Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. It's Amos 3 and 1. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, you only have I known out of all the families of the earth. So you only knew Israel. All right? Uh, Jeremiah 2 and 4 says, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Jeremiah 31 and 1, At the same time, said the Lord, Will I be the God of the families of Israel, of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Uh, 30, 30, Jeremiah 33 and 24, Consider thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord have chosen, okay, he have even cast them off. Thus they have despised my people, that they should not, uh, there should be no more nation before them. All right. So you got families and you got nations. Israel had a, had a nations within them and they had families within them. So. And let's skip down Acts 3 and 25. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant was God made with our father saying unto Abraham and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Okay. And thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. First Chronicles 16, 13. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Ye kindreds of the people. Okay. Psalm 22 and 27. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Okay. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Okay. And shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. Blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord thy God have driven thee. Okay, all the ends of the world. We're gonna get into this world in a, uh, in a second. The world of Israel. Okay, we'll get to this in a second. Galatians three and seven. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scriptures foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, Indeed, shall all the nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Justify the heathen through faith. Okay. Watch this. Acts 13 and 23. We're going to read all this. Of this man's seed have God according to his promise raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus, being known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye be not justify, justified by the law of Moses, which ye cannot be justified through the law of Moses. And he only gave the law to one people. Okay? He didn't get the law to everybody. 
gave the law to one people. That was Israel. So it had to be, you see them right here, had to be the house of Israel. Okay? Let's find the heathen through faith. I mean, uh, Isaiah 45, 25. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified. Shall all the seed of Israel be justified. Justify the heathen through faith. So hold on, something ain't making any sense. It has to be the house of Israel. House of Israel is right here. It justified the heathen through faith. That's the house of Israel. Say so in the Lord right here, Isaiah 45, 25. It said, in the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified. Okay. Galatians 3 and 10. For as many are as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Curses everyone that continue not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Okay. Galatians 3 and 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Because the curse for us, for it is written, Curses everyone that hang up on the tree. Okay. So. The house, the people he's talking to, the Gentiles, they had to be up under the curse. Okay, the curse was given to Israel, so that means that the house of Israel was the people that Paul and the apostles were talking to. It had to be, because it was up under the curse. That curse was only given to Israel. It was a blessing and a curse. Okay, Luke one and sixty eight. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for He have visited and redeemed His people. Okay, Galatians three and fourteen. That the best of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. Okay. Psalm 78 and 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and, a, and appointed a law in Israel, which commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Okay. Isaiah 65 and 23. And shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord. And their offspring with them. Isaiah 61 and 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord have blessed. Okay. So Galatians 3 and 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. So if all the nations is uh it's going to be uh, 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 grafted in, right? And why are they not called the blitz? See, right here, they're saying that uh, their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord have blessed. Okay? So this had to be the house of Israel in Galatians 3 and 14. Okay? Had to. Gentiles from the ends of the earth. Okay, Jeremiah 16 and 19 says, O Lord, my shrimp and my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. They shall say unto surely our fathers have inherited lives, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Okay. I say, I mean, Jeremiah 31 and 7. For thus said the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations, publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, say, uh, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. With them, the blind and the lame, the woman with child and her that's a relative with child together. A great company shall return thither. It shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of the waters in a straight way. And they, wherein they shall not stumble, for I am the father to Israel. And Ephraim is my firstborn. Isaiah 26 and 1. And that day shall this song be sung unto the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Thou has increased the nation, O Lord. Thou has increased the nation. Thou art glorified. Thou has had us removed it far unto the, all the ends of the earth. Okay. So Israel was going and went to all the ends of the earth. Right. Right here it says coast of the earth. Gathering from the coast of the earth. Um, 
Isaiah 41 and 8. But thou, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Isaiah 43 and 1. But now thus said the Lord, o Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he, have, he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine, fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. And I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Okay? So we're trying to prove that the Gentiles right here is the house of Jacob, all the Israelites. Come from the ends of the earth. They're going to say that, surely our fathers have inherited their lives. Okay? Remember, Gentiles just mean nations. Remember, Israelites have nations. The Israelites had nations within their nations. Okay? All two tribes had nations within nations. All right? That makes sense. Around 1419, as I utterly rejected Judah, as thy soul loved uh, Zion, why hast thou smitten us, and there is no healing for us? We look for peace, and there is no good, for the time of healing, and behold trouble. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, we have, for we have sinned against thee. Okay? They acknowledge okay, their wickedness. Around 24. Be the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked as a vanity, and are become vain? Okay? Have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which do, doth not profit? Okay? So, we're proving that in that verse, um, Isaiah, I mean, Jeremiah 16 and 19, that is talking about Israel. Okay? That's what we're proving. Amos 2 and 4. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they have despised the law of the Lord and have not kept his commandments and their lies caused them to err, after which their fathers have walked. Okay? Israelites had lies. Okay? They did things that, that were in was no profit. They did vanity. Okay? So that, that scripture, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19, is talking about Israel. Isaiah 44 and 6. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. They that make a graven image are all of them vanity, and their detectable things shall not profit. They are their own witnesses. They see not, nor know, that they may be ashamed. All right. Shamry land with strangers. Okay, it's another thing that uh that uh these Christianized uh Israelite churches say they say that uh we're gonna give land to to these other other nations, other people. That's not true. Uh Ezekiel forty seven twenty one. So shall you divide this land unto you according to the tribes of Israel, and it shall come to pass that you shall divide it by lot for inheritance unto you. To the strangers that are joined among you, which shall begat children among you, they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel. They shall have an inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel, and it shall come to pass that in the tribe and what tribe the strangers shall join them, there shall you give him his inheritance, saith the Lord God. Okay. Hey, Ezekiel was talking to the house of Israel. You read Ezekiel 1, uh, 1 through 3, and Ezekiel 3, 4 through 5. Now watch this right here. So he says strangers can be given inheritance among the tribes of Israel. Okay. We're going to find out who these strangers is in a second. It's not these people. Okay. It's not anybody that's not an Israelite. These are strangers could be Israelites with, with uh strangers like strangers could be Israelites within Israel. Annotation five and one. Remember, O Lord, uh, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. So the Israelites right here said it's a reproach for their inheritance to be given to the strangers. So this scripture right here wouldn't make any sense. If, 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 uh, if it's a reproach among Israelites, okay, for strangers to be given, uh, given their inheritance. 
it, it's a reproach to, uh, to Israelites. So this right here won't make any sense. Unless the, the strangers in the scripture is talking about other Israelites that might go, say for example, a Judite, right? Might go to the uh, Simeonite's land. And he might want to live there. Then he would be considered a stranger among the Simeonites. You see what I'm saying? That's what's going on. That's what the scripture is talking about. Okay. So, it was given inheritance. Let's get down to verse 54. And you divide the land by lot for inheritance among your families, and to the more you shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer you shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot follow. For to the tribes of your fathers ye shall inherit. Okay. Joshua 1, we'll start in verse 2. I mean, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide for inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Joshua 11, 23. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it gave it for inheritance unto Israel according to the divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Joshua 13 and 6. All the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto uh, Mesrephophmim. 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 And all the Sidonians. Then will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by the light unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Only divide thou it by by lot unto the Israelites for inheritance, as I have commanded thee. So only to the Israelites divide it, okay? And therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes, and the half tribe of Manasseh. But unto the tribe of Levi, of, I mean, the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them, okay? So Levi didn't have any land, so they would be considered strangers among the other Israelite tribes, okay? Jeremiah 3 18. In those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. All right. Okay. Says uh, Jeremiah 30 and 3 Israel and Judah, I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Leviticus 25, verse 1, I believe. And the Lord spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. The land shall not be sold forever, but the land is mine. For ye are strangers and joiners with me. So he, God is calling the Israelites strangers, strangers and sojourners with him. And thy brother be waxed and poor, verse 35, and father in decay with thee. Then thou shalt re re relieve him. Yea, he be a, uh, though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. So Israelites can be a stranger or a sojourner. Okay, it's clear as day right here. So Israelites shall not make one another slaves. Okay. Uh, Leviticus 25, 39. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxing poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. But as an hired servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee until the year of Jubilee. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and he shall return to his own family and unto the possession of his father shall he return. But they are my servants which are brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bond men. Thou shall not rule over them with rigor, but shall fear thy God. Okay? So Israelite cannot rule over they, uh, another uh, one of their brothers uh, with rigor. They should not treat them as a slave. That's what they're saying. Now, heathen or non-Israelites shall be slaves. Okay? Leviticus 25, 44. Both thy bondmen and, and thy bondmaids which thou shalt have, thou be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. All the children of strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, and they shall be your possession. Okay. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you. To inherit them for possession, they shall be your bondmen forever. 
it see now you can now Israelites can do their own brothers like that. They can only do other nations like that. Over your children, over your I mean over your bread and the children of Israel, you should not rule over one another with rigor. So we go back to that scripture in Jeremiah, what it was uh 16 and 19. Is it 16 and 19? Let's go back. Let's see. Hold on. Man, Ezekiel 47 and 20, uh, 21 through 23. Okay. So, if we go back to that scripture in Ezekiel 47, right? Uh, it says, uh, you got scripture in Ezekiel 47. That means that those strangers couldn't be uh couldn't be heathen or non-Israelites because it says that heathen or non-Israelites were going to be a, a possession for Israelites. So how can they get inheritance if they are, are if they are a possession? They are uh slaves. It makes no sense. So the inheritance is the when the Israelites were given inheritance, getting the inheritance of the land. That was to Israel only. Okay. And the strangers, right? Israel's this tribe, different tribes can be strangers in each other's lands. Okay. Read it right uh read this right here. Okay. Second Chronicles 15 and 9. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin, and the strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh, and out of Simeon, for they fell to him out of Israel in abundance. When they saw that the Lord his God was with him. Second Chronicles 30 and 1. And Hezekiah sent to all Israel and Judah and wrote letters to e also to Ephraim and Manasseh that they should come to the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel. So the post went with the letters from the king and his princes throughout all Israel and Judah, and according to the commandment of the king, saying, Ye children of Israel, turn again unto the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and he will return to the remnant of you that are escaped out of the hand of the kings of Assyria. Verse 25, and all the congregation of Judah with the priests and Levites and all the congregation that came out of Israel and the strangers that came out of the land of Israel and they and that man and that dwelt in Judah rejoice. Okay, strangers that came out of the land of Israel. So Ephraim and Manasseh, uh went to Judah. So they were considered strangers. So that's what Ezekiel 47 was talking about. Okay. Israelites being strangers in each other's uh, land. So a Simeonite will be a stranger in a, in a Judahite land. Israel is a world without end. Isaiah 45 to 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Okay. John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him would not perish, but have an everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. Ephesians 3 and 21. To him the glory in the church by Christ. Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Okay? So, the church is Israelites. Alright? We just read that and um, we just proved that with the uh, house of Israel being called Gentiles in the New Testament. We already proved that. So, uh, Israel was called a world without end. Okay? So he sent his only begotten son into the world to condemn the world, where the world through him might be saved. With world, house of Israel, and the house of Judah. So basically the house of Jacob. All right? 